Welcome to Prism Science Academy classes and in this video we are going to start with chapter 13 of class 10 that is the statistics, statistics. and uh, for today's the today's topic of discussion would be mean of group data and we have discussed in class class 9 how to find the mean of ungrouped data which is the sum of observations divided by the number of observations okay and uh, in class 10 uh, we are going to discuss how to find the mean of the group data and for this we have three methods to find the mean of the group data the first one is the direct method and the second one is the assumed mean method and the third one is the step division method So we will discuss them one by one. The last one is the step deviation method. So let's get started with the Dyke method. So in Dyke method, uh, to find the mean, which is denoted by x bar, we have to find the summation of the product of the frequencies and the observations divided by the, the number of the frequencies, which is sigma i. Okay, now let's try to solve an example using the direct method for which let's consider this example one of the textbook which says the marks obtained by 30 students of class 10 of a certain school in a mathematics paper consisting of 100 marks are given in the table below we have to find the mean of the marks obtained by the students so we are going to use here the direct method and in this case the marks obtained that is the observations are already given so this is observations are 10 20 that is the marks obtained are xi 20 20 36 40 50 56 60 70 72 and 80 88 92 and 95 this is 92 and 95 okay so these are our observations now it's given the number of the students that the frequency is also given okay so our next column would be the frequency of the observations f5 which will be which means that the frequency of the first observation f1 is one it's one three four three two four four one one two three and one okay now let's get the product of these two columns that is fi into xi so this is next column is the part of the corresponding observations the first into its frequency that is 10 into 1 is 10 20 into 1 is 20 36 into 3 is 60 that 18 3 is a 9 and 10, 108. It's 40 into 4 is a 160. 150, 56 into 2 is 6, 2 is a 12, 2, 5 is a 10 and 11. This is 240 and 280, 72 and it's 80, 82 into 2 is 8 to the 16, 8 to the 16 and 17, 176. 92 into 3 is 3 to the 6 and 9 3 is 27 and it's 95 okay so 
So now we have to find the summation of these two columns, that is the fi and the sigma fi into xi. So we have to total, we have to get the total sum of these. So the summation of this column we will denote it by sigma fi. So this is sigma, that means the summation. And it's already given that there are total of 30 students. So this should be a total of 30. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 6 plus 4, 10, and 3, 13, and 2, 15, and 4 is 19, and 4 is 23, 24, 25, and 5 is 30. So this is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, with this. Okay, so 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 3, 12, 2, 14, 4, 18, 4, 22, 23, 24, and 24 and 2 is 26. And 26 into 3 is 29 plus 1 is 30. So this is 30. Sigma phi is 30. Now let's move on to find the summation of the next column, which is fi into xi. So we will have to find the sum of those. So 10, 20. Let me just verify with it. it's 10, 20, and 108, 160, 150, 108, 160, and 150. Next is 112, 240, and 280. 112, 240, 280, 72, 80, and 176, 276, and 95. Okay, if we add them, this is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 6 is 18, and 5 is so this is 8 plus 2 is 10 to 12, 6, 18 and 6 is 24 and 5 is 29. Okay, so if I add these, this will give me 1779. And this is the summation of this column. So if we will write it as sigma, this is fi into xi. Okay, now. The using the direct methods, the direct method says that mean should be equal to sigma fi into xi upon sigma fi. And let's put it in the value. So 1779 divided by 30. This will give us, if we divide 1779 by 30, this will give us 59.3. So mean in this case is 59.3. So that's how we use the direct method to find the mean of the given data. Now, let's use the same method to find the mean here where the data is grouped. We have the class intervals. And <clears throat> so, because the data may be large, so to make it meaningful, we need to group the data and the first one was the ungrouped data, so we need to group a group. Uh, ungroup. We have to change, convert the ungrouped data into group data, and we have to find some method to find the mean. So the first one was the ungrouped data in which. So let's try to group the the data in the example one, and we have grouped this data here, and we have got the class intervals. So let me write down the class intervals are uh, ten to twenty five. 25 to 40, 40 to 55, and 55 to 70. Next is 70 to 85, and then 85 to 100. Okay, so these are the class intervals. And now we have to find the class marks. Which we denote by xi. And to get the class marks, we know that 
the class marks this is our lower limit of the class interval and this is the upper limit so the class marks we find the class marks this is low limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So the lower limit is 10 and upper limit is 25. So this is i divided by 2 is equal to 17 by 5. So we are going to do this in each and every case. So 25 plus 40 is 65 divided by 2 will give me 32.5. So this is 32.5 and the difference here is 5 so we will just go keep on adding 5 so this is uh okay the difference here is 12 minus 5 is 12 minus 7 is 5 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so difference here is 15 so we'll just keep on adding 15 which gives me 47.5 and if i add 15 once again this is 62.5 and 77.5 and 92.5 okay now let's write down the number of students that is the frequency so the frequency is 2 this is 3 7 6 6 6 now we are going to multiply this xi with xfi so 17.2 17.5 into 2 is 35 so this is the column where it's fi to xi now 32.5 into 3 is 97.5 47.5 into 7 is it's 332.5 and again, if you multiply this, 6 fives are is 30, 6 twos are 12, 6 six are 36, and 372. Okay, sorry, it's 6 fives are 30, 6 twos are 62.5 into 6 is 375. 6 fives are 30, 12, and this is actually 375. Okay, 77.5 into 6. It give me 465 and 92.5 into 6 will give me 555.0. Okay, now as we are going to use the direct method and the formula for the direct method is mean is equal to sigma. This is the symbol for mean and it's sigma fi into xi divided by sigma fi okay so sigma fi it's 30 we all know because there are total of 30 students and if i add this column that is sigma fi into xi this will give me 1860 and if i put in the values 1860 divided by 30 this gets cancelled so it's 3, 6 are 18 and 3, 2 are 6. So the mean here is 16. So this is a new method of finding the mean and is called the direct method. So we have used the direct method here and let's move on to the next method that is the assumed mean method. Okay. Now for the assumed mean method, we are once again going to find the class marks let's consider the same table class interval uh, class marks and uh, okay let me just this is let me recreate the table once again the class intervals are 10 25 25 to 40 and we are going to discuss in this case the second method which is assuming method 10 to 25 25 to 40 40 to 55 55 to 70 and 70 to 85 85 to 100 okay now 
and let's write down the frequency. The frequency is denoted by fi. The number is always the frequency, which is two, three, seven, six, six, and six. <coughs> Again now 10 plus 25. We are going to find the class marks, which is the lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So 10 plus 25 is 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. So I'm going to write down the class marks. The first one is 17.5. It's 32.5, 25 plus 40 divided by 2, and then 47.5. And the next is 62.5, 77.5, and then 92.5. So we are done with the class marks now. In this case, what we are going to do. So among the class marks, we are going to choose one of the class marks as the assumed mean and we are going to denote it by a and this will further reduce our calculation work so we are going to take a uh, which lies in the center of the class marks so here in this case the center uh, we have total of one two three four five six terms and these are the center class marks so among these i am going to choose uh, assumed mean a as this is 47.5 so this is our assumed mean and now this column will be di is equal to xi minus a a is 47.5 so what we are going to do we are going to subtract this assumed mean from each of the class marks so now 17.5 minus 47.5 we are going to find the difference between the di, uh, difference di between a. So the difference, we are going to denote the difference by di. The so di is the difference between the class mark and the assumed mean that we have chosen among the class marks, which is one of the center value, which is one of the middle value. And the first one, 17.5 minus 47.5 will be negative. So 32.5 minus 47.5 will be negative 15. This is 0. And now it's 15, 30, and 45. So this method is basically to reduce the calculation work by making the figures or the numbers small. And now in the dark method, we used to multiply fi into xi. Now we are going to multiply fi. This is fi into di. Okay, so fi into di. Now, so 2 minus 30 is negative 60. 3 minus 15 is negative 45. And 7 into 0 is 0. 6 into 15 is 90. 6 into 30 is 180 and it's 270. Now we are going to sum up a sigma fi which is 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 7 12 6 is 18 624 and 30 and also we are going to sum up fi into di that is this column so let's add these negative terms which will give me negative 105 and add these positive terms so 90 plus 180 is 270 plus 270 is 540 mm -hmm. and 540 plus 100 negative 105 will give me 435 so this is equal to 435 now then as you mean method our formula to find the mean will be sigma which will be a plus assumed mean plus sigma fi into di divided by sigma fi okay a now the a is the assumed mean which is 47.5 sigma fi into di is 435 and 30 okay in this case i 
who would prefer not to take the LCM because that will make the calculations time consuming. I will just go ahead and divide 435 by 30. So if we divide 435 by 30, which will give me 14.5. So this is 47.5 plus this is 14.5, which will give me the result that is the mean as 62. So this is the mean of the marks obtained by the students, which is 62. And this method discussed is called assumed mean method. Now let's move on to the third one, which is the step division method. And these steps are basically to reduce the calculations by making the figures smaller and smaller so that in case if there is an error, it's easy to find it among the smaller values. So uh, for the step division method, the first of all, we will write once again the class intervals. So the class, our class intervals are 10 to 25, 25 to 40 and 40 to 55. Next is 55 to 70, 70 to 85 and then 85 to 100. Okay, so we have got the class intervals, we have got the data. Let's now write down the frequency, that is the number of the students, which gives us the frequency Fi. So I is basically the number that is the frequency of the first class interval, second and third, four, five, six, goes on two, three, this is seven, six, six and six. Now our next step will be to find the class marks. And we have already got the class marks which is upper plus lower divide, upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. So this is 17.5, 32.5, and 47.5, 62.5, 77.5, 92.5. Okay, so our assumed mean in this case, this will be A. So A is equal to 47.5. And how do we choose this A? This is one of the middle values of the class marks. So these are the two middle values. I have taken 47.5. And now we have to find the difference of the class marks and the assumed mean. So 17.5 minus 47.5 was minus 30, minus 15, 0, 15, 30, 45, as the symmetry goes on. Okay, now, in this step division method, we are going to further reduce the calculation. So our next column is UI. And this UI will be we, have, we will divide di with the class size. So, <clears throat> in order to get the smaller numbers, we will divide each of the difference with the class size. And so this is ui, which is the difference divided by the class size. And how do we get this class size? H is class size which is the difference of the upper and the lower limit so 25 minus 2 and 25 minus 10 is 15 so the class size is same in all the class intervals so h is equal to 15 and we are going to divide that is di has to be divided by 15 which will further give us the smaller value so Okay, now, okay, we are going to divide each of the difference with the class size, which is 15. So minus 30 divided by 15 is 2, negative 2, this is negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. 
So see, we have got the, the reduce the values or we have got the further uh, reduce the values to the smaller figures. And now we are go going to multiply our next column will be fi into ui. Okay, so our next column is fi into ui. That is, we are going to multiply the frequency with the ui. So 2 into negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 3, 7 into 0 is 0. 6 into 1 is 6. 6 to the 12, 6 to the 18. And now sigma fi into ui will give me if I uh, add all these figures, the values minus 4 minus 3 is negative 7, 6, 12 is 18, 18 is 36, and 36 plus minus 7, 36 minus 7 will give me 1629. And sigma fi, we already know the number, total number of students were 30, so add them and will give us 30. Now to find the mean, our formula will be a plus sigma fi into ui by sigma F, fi into h. A is assumed mean which is 47.5, sigma fi into ui is 29, it's 30, h is 15, 15 to the r is 30. So 47.5 plus 29 divided by 2 which is 14.5 so 14.5 so 47.5 plus 14.5 will give me 62 as the mean okay so this is the step division method to find the mean so we are done with all the methods that is the direct Assume so assume means formula was this is a plus sigma fi into di by sigma fi and step division method formula was this is a plus sigma fi into ui by sigma fi into h. Okay, first, second, and the third. This is how we find the mean of the group data using the, these three methods, direct, assume, and step division. So let's move on to exercise 13.1 to solve similar such, such similar questions. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.